Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we're back with some more Total War Warhammer 3. This time going into the assets because some interesting information has just popped up. So recently someone on Reddit by the name of Maziski found some very interesting files whilst going through the campaign assets of Warhammer 3. These are all in relation to Marienburg and while a lot of people might say, well this could mean anything, it's rather important to notice one thing. If you go down by the assets you'll see that all the different races and cultures have been separated unless they are actually in a generic folder and Marienburg seems to have its own separation. What this normally means is that it's likely that Creative Assembly might have had plans for Marienburg or do have plans for Marienburg and this is usually the case when they start separating files. Normally this type of stuff isn't ever found until much much later but Creative Assembly have been leaving in a lot of files when it comes to Warhammer 3. I mean we found a lot of Chaos Dwarf stuff and you know maps for Immortal Empires, the Immortal Empires itself. It's a bit strange but I guess they were testing stuff to see how it would work through implementation and so on this is kind of common and then just forgot to remove some assets some of those assets themselves are in Warhammer 3 as we talk though as you can see here those assets are being used in the realm of Sinesh apparently this was pointed out on the same reddit forum but I'm imagining that this is something that they could have used from generic and they just left it there so it's very odd that there is a Marienburg distinction there when it comes to all the different races and cultures however it's not really that odd first let's talk about all the assets Asset wise there seems to be quite a decent amount of things, it's mostly just building stuff, a few flags too, and yeah, it looks pretty standard, keep in mind that obviously Marienburg as a nation shouldn't be all too different from that of the Empire. They were in fact part of the Empire long ago so there is still a little bit of a cultural thing to make them seem quite similar. Now. These assets could literally be anything, but again, if we go back to the fact that, yes, this is on the Marienburg side, it could mean that they do have something planned, and there's a reason why. Given the information that we do have on Warhammer Fantasy's revival as Warhammer the Old World, the setting is being based on a time of the Empire where a civil war was rife, and at one point Marienburg decided, oh well, I want to join too. That's pretty much the reasoning. As you can see, Marienburg has its own official logo, and this is likely because Marienburg will have a playable faction in Warhammer the Old World. So it's very likely if Marienburg is getting a bunch of new units for its own official faction that we might see something along that lines in Total War Warhammer 3. I discussed this actually a few days ago as a mini race pack. One or two legendary lords, a army which is centered around its own unique stuff but also reusing assets from the Empire as the rigs and so on which then can get reskinned and retextured and there you go something completely new. This could work as to well link it up with the Dogs of War as the mini race packs because keep in mind that Marienburg is a free state, it's just one province and it's not really a kingdom in itself. I imagine that it wouldn't be too difficult to create a army for Marienburg if they use all source material which is available to them. This is what exactly Creative Assembly tends to do. I'm talking about Warhammer Fantasy roleplay, Warhammer Fantasy lore in general and possibly some supplements too. We already know that the Marienburg landship belongs to Marienburg because, well, yeah. And there is some stuff in Deep Lore which I would make a follow up video because I will need to do some heavy research on this but it does sound quite interesting and I do think that there's a possibility. What do you guys think about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and let's start a bit of a discussion as I feel like Marienburg could work really well as a minor mini race pack in a sense especially if it does link up to Warhammer the Old World and I feel like Creative Assembly and Games Workshop would actively be working on that because obviously we know it's happened to Cafe, it's happened to Kislev it could happen here too. But just a short video today as this kind of just happened in the middle of the night and I just want to talk about this as it was something very interesting. With all that being said, have a great day.